Street Falls! That reporter, she came to a signing. How very interesting, sir. This will help us. She seems quite clever. She's a child. What? Amazing what kids can do on the internet. Forget about her. I'm too big a star to worry about some girl. No. Instead, find the person behind this fake school. Uh, ah! oh, Dolly's awesome. She's already got tons of people reading her news stories online. Yeah, I noticed that. It's pretty much the opposite of what's happening on Corey's soccer news site. Popularity isn't everything. And so what if Dolly's news blog has thousands of followers? I don't care. I don't think it's gonna last long. What exactly are you saying? What I'm trying to say is I'm starting a new news site. Oh. Seriously? What's wrong with you? Anyway, so that's why I need your help. These are all of the reporters I want working for me and the topics I want them to cover. First, reporting on school news, we have Ryan Char. Uh. Except for the sports news, Dylan can write that. Let's see, what else? The word on the street. <coughs> How about Nathan? Guys, come back, I'm not done. I'm still talking here. <coughs> I'll hire someone else then. <coughs> huh? Hey, could I be one of your reporters? Yeah, I guess. <gasps> oh, no. It's a really bad sign when you don't finish your dinner. What's bothering you this time? Come on. You know you can tell us anything. Robots are good listeners. Uh, boss, uh, can I have your leftovers? No. Aren't you worried about the fake acting school? It's only a matter of time before Tom Fuse finds out it was us. He's going to be mad. Well, let's just explain it to him. What? Did your circuit board get wet in the rain? I just think he'll forgive us if we tell him ourselves. And if we bring him something. He hates presents. We could sing. Or what if we all did a little dance? No! I'm talking about that reporter, Dolly. She's been getting in his way with all those stories about food by fuse. So we'll stop her from causing trouble, and then you can beg for his forgiveness. You're only human, right? And we all make mistakes, he'll understand. Hmm. Well, I am good at groveling, you know. Fine, let's go get that pesky reporter. But where do we start? Hmm. I know. Reporters can't resist a good story, so let's give her a story she can't resist. My favorite kind of story is a spooky one, where I feel so shivery and scared that I spill my cocoa. Same here. Uh, let's tell her there's something spooky going on at the old factory. That'll do it. But, um, the old factory? Do I... you need me to go with you? Why? Are you scared? I know this is silly, but... Someone told me it's haunted. Uh, believe me, boss, we'll be the only ghosts there. We're gonna be ghosts? Fine, then. If it's theater, you'll need my acting talent. <laughs> Let's see, I'll need the dress rehearsal and, of course, a brand new business card, too. <laughs> what? Wow, look at that. Huh? Oh, were you asleep? No, not sleeping, just thinking. Listen, Layla, you have to remember to call me boss here at work, okay? Because, you know, we're professionals. Oh, sorry. Hey, boss, there's a message here that I think you should read. Come here and take a look. If you insist, hold on. See? It looks like a lead. Huh. Nice work. This could be a big story. Okay, there. Looks pretty good. You did make me look like a really handsome ghost, right? You bet I did. Hmm. It's too bad we don't have a mirror. <laughs> but what about your makeup? We don't need it. We have glow-in-the-dark face masks. Ta-da! Oh, wow. Scary. Boss, five minutes to curtain. Okay. Wait just a minute. Here's the plan. I hide until they show up, then I'll scream. Ah, I'm a ghost! Ah! And I jump in front of them? You got it. Okay, right. I just hope you don't get scared waiting in the dark. Don't worry about me. I've got nerves of steel. Literally, they're made of steel. Over there.
message said fourth floor, right? Huh. <sighs> yes. Um, don't you think it's a bit chilly in here? Of course it's chilly. The heat's turned off. Oh, right. But still, uh, people shiver when there's a ghost in the room. What? What? <gasps> what was that? It didn't sound like a child. <laughs> what? What is it? <laughs> Go to your happy place. There's nothing to be scared about. Okay, we've seen enough. It's not working. I'm still scared. Where are the biker bots? So, I guess our source is a no-show. Oh, well. Hold on. Look there. I think he found her. Come on. Close. Bikerbots, you haven't forgotten me here, have you? Huh? <sighs> yeah. I'm going home. Uh, is that my makeup? <clears throat> Too. Someone played a trick on us. Look at these. What? what? They're disguises. I found this stuff inside. I'd say somebody was setting us up. So that means the food I've used tip off was a fake? Yep. Hmm. Why? Who would want to do that? Man, oh man, that's the loudest snoring I've ever heard. <laughs> right? Well, at least we know he's okay. When this is over, we should get him to enter some competitions. <laughs> is there an award for snoring? Here's his favorite. Hey, you can't give food to someone who's sleeping. Boss is always eating in his sleep. See? What? Look at this. Whoa, he's responding to the smell of the food. All right, good. Make sure that the new sign is visible from the highway. So tell me, Mr. Dillick had some kind of accident? He's resting now. But we're busy. I mean, what was he even doing? Frolicking in a factory. The lab sent a report. His bone density confounded them. It was hard to run the tests. In short, our worst employee has a very, very thick skull. Well, hello, Mr. Fuse. So is the silly man okay, or is he not okay? From what the doctor was able to see, poor Mr. Dillock will make a full recovery. Though, to be honest, I'm not sure he was ever playing with a full deck. Okay, so he's fine.
Well, well. The Octobot's looking great. I hear it's been busy taking care of our little problem. You could say that. And the taste test is going well? Yes, it's underway. a trick on Dolly. We're lucky Officer O got to her. She's an extremely bright kid, but it gets her in trouble. Hmm. Do you think it's time to make her a Tobot? Hmm. She's certainly been patient letting Nathan have W. Let's do it. No! And why do you say that? Because what does she need a Tobot for? She should just be careful. I mean, she's not even a real reporter. She got herself in trouble just to get a lame story. Besides, being a Tobot pilot is hard enough for us. She's got so many other things taking up her time. Dylan, you agree with me, right? Um, well, I guess so. Like all that time she spends at her homework. I really think her priorities are mixed up on this one, Dad. Corey, that is just not fair. You aren't being reasonable. Dolly cares about the Tobots, and it's great that she works hard at school. But she's... Mm. Look, your dad is right. Are you saying you don't care about her safety? No, no, that's no, not it! Uh, not. If you don't want us to make her one, but you want her to stay safe, then lend her your Tobots. What? what? No! Well then, that settles it. Dolly should have a Tobot for herself. Do you all agree? Yeah. Hmm, thought so. Officer O, are you on to something? Yeah, look at this. There's a Food by Fuse location on every street where a restaurant's been forced to close. It's no coincidence. They're shutting out the competition! Over! Exactly! As I always say, if the fast rabbit doesn't make it to the finish line, you better question the tortoise. I don't quite follow. Isn't the tortoise and the hare a folktale about patience? Over? Well, you know, to a police officer, it's more about the... No, oh, forget it! I'm going to pay a visit to Food by Fuse's head office. <sighs> I made the reporters days ago, and they still haven't written anything for me. Oh. How's our editor? Good, thanks. Have you got a story for me? <laughs> I sure do. It's quite a scoop, I must say. That is just what I need. What is it? Here. It's very exciting. I am currently standing in this lovely farm where a new litter of piglets has just been born in excellent health. Aren't they the cutest things? Oh, it slammed me! All eight piglets and the sow are doing very well. The farmer isn't sure yet, but he might soon be looking after a small pig belonging to his neighbor, Mal. This is Tobot R reporting from a farm near you. Good, yes? I've got goosebumps. Yes, that was really interesting. So is that it? Of course not. If you liked that, you'll love this one right here. This year's harvest is reported to be the largest in several years, and farmers are having to get up extra early. The days are long, but the work is rewarding. I'm here live at the scene of an exciting crop drying station. How about I give you a hand with that? May I? Don't oh dear, please. Be gentle. Of course. Look for local produce at the supermarket and at farmer's markets in your community. This is Tobot R reporting from the heart of the action. See you next time. Oh, before I forget, I plan to do a feature on carrot farms. If you want, you can help me with the research. Yeah, um, no. I don't think we need a story on carrots, actually. I just can't shake the feeling that Corey wasn't interested in my reporting. Wasn't the writing good enough? Huh? Is something the matter, boy? Stay, sit. Stop barking and come back here. Boy, there's nothing to be afraid of. What's that?
another successful rescue. Still, you better get out of here before it grabs you again. Uh, 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 uh. Yo, thank you, Dobot. Just doing my duty. Ooh, the Squidbot is getting stronger. How many limbs does it have anyway? I'm here live at the scene where an arm wrestling match just turned ugly. Now you two can enjoy the force of Tobot R's amazing strength. <laughs> he really cracks me up. All right, my friend. Make sure you pull very slowly so the tentacles don't snap. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Hey, kids, don't try this at home. Oops. Uh, we must have pulled a little too hard. <laughs> what a mess. Are you okay? <laughs> that was nothing. We should have caught it. We had that robot in the bag. Oh, get it off! Get it off! Oh, no! After all that training, I missed out on the action. Over. Aw, don't take it so hard. You win some, you lose some, right? Hold on just a sec, guys. This isn't the first time this robot's tried to capture someone, and it's always a Food by Fuse protester. Is that right? Hmm. Let go! It'll strike again, and we'd better be ready for it when it does. I couldn't find out who the fakers were, but we won't stop investigating. You can be sure of that. Layla, I've got to go. Talk to you later. Huh? Hey, Norman! <gasps> Dolly, it's you! Ugh. Oh, no! You okay? Are you alone? Mm-hmm. Ah! Oh, that looks like it hurts. Where do you live? I can help you get cleaned up. Anybody home? Huh. Where's your mom? I don't know. When I woke up this morning, I couldn't find her anywhere. Really? You're all by yourself then? Mm-hmm. Huh. How about you come with me? We'll help you find her, so don't worry. You can stay with me until your mom comes home, okay? Okay. Here we are. It's cozy, right? Right, let's get you cleaned up. Now blow. Harder, come on. Hmm. Your knee will feel better in no time. What is wrong with this silly car? Hmm? <gasps> Home cooking. A little thank you for your help. Your car will be good as new, no problem. But I need to ask, would you mind if... Oh, <laughs> I have to get this. <laughs> what? You're kidding. Are you saying she never gave you the deposit? Go, catch up to her. Then call me right back. Oh, I sure hope everything's all right. <laughs> Just a business I run. So, what was that you were saying? Uh, right. So I was kind of wondering if we could turn your old car into a tow bar. Oh, I knew it. I just knew it. Mrs. Park? Yes, of course. You go right ahead. You sure? Don't worry. I trust you with the car. I'm sure you'll do whatever's needed. Excuse me. I have some business to do. Well, did you find her or not? Keep her right there. I'm coming over. No, I don't have an appointment. This is a police matter. I'd like to ask a few questions. Sorry, but no can do. You're not authorized to enter, and I can't give out any information. Yes, well, I know this isn't really an official visit, but your cooperation would be extremely helpful. I'd love to help, but it won't be possible. Try again another time, or maybe don't bother. Why is she so difficult? Something's not right, but what is it? Is this Tobot damage? It is. 
Unacceptable. You should have used stronger parts. You know better than that! Hmm. <laughs> Don't tell me you're surprised. Ah, this would never have happened in the first place if you'd used a titanium alloy. Robot R is an undeniably powerful machine. If you want to stand a chance next time, I'd suggest utilizing titanium with the nickel memory alloy. Duralumin is just too brittle. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like Dillick's been binge watching science documentaries again. Alas, we don't have the ability to create an alloy of that caliber. <laughs> well, then be prepared for the Tobots to win. Allow me to give you a hand. Mr. Dillick, are you sure you're feeling all right? <laughs> I'm afraid our friend might have a point. That's a first. How amazing. It appears that when he fell, he transformed into a genius. His brain is emitting alpha-theta waves that are only seen in people with very high intelligence. Huh. Unbelievable. How does that happen? He's more annoying than ever. Mm. This is an opportunity. What? We could make use of his reasoning power and get him to solve some of your more bothersome business problems. After all, he has experience fighting the Tobots. Great. We finally have a real use for that weirdo. Mind you, there is one small problem. Problem? Now that he's so smart, he might be less willing to obey us without question. He could become a danger to us. Don't worry. Remember, he's a big fan of mine. And fans do whatever I tell them to. Got her storybook. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there was a very popular king. Oh, he's so wise, the people in the kingdom would say. Well done. Very nicely read. Who wants to read the next line? Oh. Can I help you? Huh? Shoo! Go! He's here for Dolly. Oh, is that your little brother? Actually, he's just a friend, miss. It's okay. Tell him to come in. Aww. Wait, what? No! Why is there a police officer outside our office? I can only assume the police are starting to connect the closing of many of our competitors with the opening of our Food by Fuse locations. Hmm. Why do the police even care? Helping others is so boring. All right. We'll just have to up our game. We can't let them find Octobot. So tell me, what's your plan? It looks like she's alone. So all we have to do right now is just avoid her. All right, let's do that. <laughs> it sounds like you could use my advice. Have you two ever considered thinking ahead for a change? What now? You have an idea? <clears throat> well, go on. Let's hear it then. Your action is just a temporary measure. It would be much more efficient to eliminate the police's doubt about you altogether. And what are you proposing? Do tell. How about showing the police that you are a victim here, too? Excuse me, but what's with the strutting around my office? 
I don't think I like it. Hmm. No, what? I don't like. You took over this office months ago. But there are still cats everywhere. <laughs> it is clear what this means. It means you are extremely lazy. What? How dare you? Stay calm. Just ignore him, sir. Remember, we need his brains. <sighs> so then, what did you have in mind for getting the police off our tail? It is very easy. Open your eyes. All you have to do is close down one of your own brand new stores. Even better, it should be the one that is getting the most business. You ready to try my latest creation? Uh-huh. Well, dig in! Ugh! It's too hot. It is? Just blow on it. Huh? Who's that? Who is it? Hi, Mr. C. I'm glad that you're home. Oh? What's going on? Here, take this. Hmm. <gasps> Look after it, all right? Wow, for me? Thanks so much. Let's be friends. I'm going to take care of you and keep you safe from now on. <laughs> These red dots are diners. They're all closed, all for mysterious reasons. And you see the purple dots? Those represent Food by Fuse locations that opened immediately afterwards. Take a look. There's a busy new Fuse restaurant in almost every spot where someone recently closed down their business. Now, don't you think that's strange? What do you think happened? And how do we prove that this whole setup isn't just some unlucky coincidence? Hmm. I think you're onto something. That is odd. Ah, uh, I know. I'm glad you agree, sir. All right, then. Report back to me after looking into it. Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> Good job. Nice work. I'll leave you to get started. <laughs> Bye-bye, Minecore. I'll see you when I get home, okay? Huh? Ready for school. You want to come with me again? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Not today. Huh? Why not? It was okay the last time. That's different. You were already there. But this time you gotta stay at home. You can't come with me. I'll tell you all about my day when I get back. And then we can read together. You see that clock? When the short hen reaches three, I'll be home. Oh no, I'm late! Bye, Norman! One last thing. No more going to the playground alone, all right? It's not safe. Dolly? What happened to all the macaroni in the pantry? Oh, yeah, right. Norman and I were doing some art. I know, I should have asked for permission to use it first. I'm sorry. Oh, so that's where it all went. Oh, I'll just get some more later then. Oh, have they found his mother yet? I don't know. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Bye, that's my ride. That's one, two, three. Hmm. I'm home, Norman! Huh? Hi! Huh? Hey, wait! Dolly! Where are you going? Don't! Norman. Huh? Can we play now? I'm sorry. I know I promised, but I have too much homework. Hey, Mindcore. Want to do some research together? You're going to be super smart, right? Of course you are. And soon you're going to be a Tobot. We're going to do so much cool stuff together. <laughs> Strange. How did that man suddenly become smarter than me? Maybe I should start wearing glasses or something. Don't even think of it. Confidence is the key, sir.
Just think of all the times you've convinced someone you had genius ideas when you didn't have a clue. When are we going to put his new plan into action? Any specific date? Hmm. It's already begun.